Back in 2002, I first was diagnosed with, uh, noticed that, known that I had, my lung function was a little off and a little lower than what it should have been for my age. And, and uh, since then, it just continually went downhill until 2008, I uh, collapsed there at work and uh, never worked since. And uh, just was started on oxygen and just kept going downhill and downhill. In the end, I was on approximately 10 liters of oxygen just to move, just to walk, just to do any, any daily living. Yeah. The day after surgery, like the oxygen's gone and you're you're up and they get you walking and you're just going, right? It's just uh, you missed it at first. It's like that was my security blanket for a lot of years, and I tell you, when they, when they took that away, it was like, where is it? I mean, you know, you yeah. wanted it, you wanted it, you wanted. It. But as time goes on, and you just, oh man, you breathe so good, it was like, you know, and now I don't even miss it. There's not an oxygen bottle, or a regulator, or a hose, or nothing in my house. No more concentrators. It's all gone. Got your freedom back, right? Yeah. Total freedom now. I can do anything. I'm walking downstairs. I can, I can do anything now, right? That I couldn't do before. Right? So it's just amazing. You know, I got some things on my bucket list. I want to travel a bit more. I want to see, I want to see the rest of Canada, which I haven't seen at all. I want to go to the Yukon. I want to walk north. I love the north. The clean, clean air, clean, clean water. You know, that's where I want to be. But, uh, we got, uh, I got some financial support, some assistance from, uh, from the Lung Association. And, and uh, you know, yeah. like support just by talking. I mean, from all I can, I know you're there if I need to call and talk about anything and yeah. whatnot. So it's, it's been been good. Mm -hmm. Hi, I'm David Whedon, and I'm powered by breathing.